Fluency is a state of mind. Let's talk about fluency. In everyday language, fluency is usually used to describe how well a person speaks a language, and it's typically seen as a binary construct. So either you're fluent in a language or you're not fluent in that language. However, in linguistics, this term fluent or fluency has a very specific meaning. And actually, there are several different conceptualizations of what fluency is, even within linguistics. So I'm just going to give you one of these ideas. Oftentimes, we can think about fluency in terms of CAF, complexity, accuracy, and fluency. So three constructs in one. We have complexity, which is how advanced or sophisticated someone's language is. That encompasses things like lexical diversity, as well as grammatical complexity and things like that. Next, we have accuracy, which is how correct someone is when they're speaking, whether they have few grammar errors, they can be understood, and also the words that they're using actually encompasses what they're trying to say. And then finally, the last construct is fluency. The concept of fluency in this world is how clearly and quickly you're able to convey your ideas. So if you're speaking at a speech rate that's appropriate for the language that you're learning, if you're using few pauses, if you're not backtracking and repeating things too much, then you would be considered more fluent. So thinking about fluency in line with these other constructs is actually really helpful because we can imagine someone who's maybe highly fluent, but their accuracy and their complexity is quite low. And this idea can be applied to other language skills as well. So of course, speaking, but also it can be used in writing and reading.